So who should be your power partners? Other marketers. Other marketers are a great source for power partners. I have what we call a mastermind group where I actually sit down with other marketers that services my area and I have lunch with them and I find out what are the challenges that they're facing. I would rather, because most referral sources are referring to multiple home health agencies. I would rather me working with other marketers and we become the group of the, you know, of the agencies, the, a group of agencies where we are the ones that are the choices. So I can limit the choices of the referral sources. Okay? So you want to be able to work with other marketers in the home health industry. But let's say, for example, you're in medical and there's non-medical or private duty. You can link up with those marketers because they already have an in for potential referral sources for you. And you have an in for potential referral sources for them. So it doesn't have to be just marketers within the same home health, medical if you're medical, non-medical if you're non-medical. Go the opposite way. Also look into marketers for nursing homes, marketers for assisted living communities, marketers for physician groups, right? Create a mastermind group with those people. Share information, share valuable stuff that you can also be beneficial with each other. You know, remember, like I said, you want people with the same customer base as you. Like I said, home health agencies, home care, non-medical. These are the ones that you want to be able to be power partners with. A lot of people forget this. Friends and family. Great power partners. Your family members have doctors. They can do a quick intro for you. Your friends have doctors. They can do a quick intro for you. Your friend's parents have doctors. You have to understand, power partners are great, but friends and family, we always forget about them, and those are the people that can actually help us become successful. Lawyers are great, so is marketers and owners for medical equipment companies. Because remember, medical equipment companies, they're already in these nursing homes, in these assisted living communities. And... You don't have to get them to do an introduction. Maybe you can get them just to give you the name of the person that they already spoke to before that can make a major decision. That saves you time from being able to gather information, to waste your first phone call, to waste time researching that particular facility, that particular office. Make sure that you be able to bring in together a group of power partners that's going to be able to deliver success for your organization. And don't forget pharmacies as well. Pharmacies are great sources as power partners. Why? They have patients coming into them. Can you do cross-marketing events? Can you help each other get into the rooms? It's very important to have power partners. You cannot do this on your own. You can never, ever do this on your own. When you're having your lunch every day, Meet up with a power partner. That's when you should have lunch. Don't have lunch in the office. Have lunch out there. Every day that you're working, your lunch should be used to market your company and link with other people. Don't eat with potential clients, not unless they've been referring to you and you have that relationship already. But make sure you understand that you have to be constantly meeting people to become successful.